What's up ladies and gents, Tengazoo30 here, I hope everyone's having a great day. So welcome back to the Monster Hunter World Beta. It is now currently over, at least, yeah, it should be over by now. Um, so we're going to be facing off against the Baroth once again after we timed out in the last episode, Dan and I. We're going to be changing weapons up, I'm going to be using the hammer. And Dan is going to be using the Insect Glaive, a weapon that I use often. So we're kind of both, I guess, at kind of a disadvantage. But I've kind of dabbled in hammer use now and again. Usually versus monsters I've already fought and, and know well. So I figured, you know, I fought the Baroth before in here once and in the, in Monster Hunter Try and Monster Hunter Try Ultimate. So. So we'll see how, how the hammer goes, as Dan, as you can see, also tries to test out the Insect Glaive by doing the vault. I feel like I have to test it out on something. Don't worry, the, the Kelby's good to go. They're they're actually pretty, pretty resilient <laughs> getting up from a hammer attack like that. Dan goes on ahead here. Attacks the bear off first. I swing and a miss immediately as I try to get used to the speed of holding this weapon as well as its range. I know I always tend to hit the legs of these monsters as well as the, as the belly. That's kind of like where I normally hit, but with a hammer, it's optimal to get headshots with it because it will stagger and stun the monster. Unfortunately, in this third match that I played in Monster Hunter World, I'm not keenly adept at it. So instead, I just try to focus on as much damage as I can wherever I can get it. Starting this match, it's it's not going well. I've, I've been getting hit a bunch. And already I had to use a potion, which which isn't great, but we still have a bunch more, so there's just more time to, uh, to regroup and strategize. So here Dan mounted the Baroth, and there was a Palico up above which said, hey, if you ride the monster near me, I'll set up a trap for it. And that's what it did. Set up like a vine trap. And you can see actually all the palicos right there holding it down with vines. And it's pretty cool. Ideally, I feel like I should have gun around and hit it like on the bottom of the chin, but as you can see, it's already bleeding purple blood. I don't think I've ever seen, like I remember in the original, or sorry, no, sorry, not the original, but in facing the Baroth and Try, that uh, it drools, but I've never seen like purple blood before. So yeah, see right there, Dan's doing more damage than he said or at least that he uh, told me. So he's, he's getting some licks in, definitely. Interestingly, I guess doing an attack as you're like going down on a slope, it does a jump attack. And I got really lucky hitting this thing on the head and actually mounting it. And that's awesome. I mean, I thought the, flur the flurry attacks are cool too, especially when you do enough damage on like a certain part of the body, but actually hitting it with a hammer right in the dome, that felt really satisfying. You got a some good licks in there. I'm happy about those that, that combo. This is also, 
I believe it's a paralyzing hammer. So because I hit it so much, it actually paralyzes it. I think right now we have the bear off reeling. So that is another monster. That is the Diablos, I believe. I think it created that sinkhole. And the Baroth actually went down it. So we're gonna follow it down here. That was the first time I seen like an environmental kind of uh, destruction. And that was pretty cool. I remember talking to Dan and he said, hey, I don't think the Diablos is gonna come down here. And sadly I was wrong, but it actually turned out pretty well. You see that text over there says Turf War? They're gonna fight. And it did like 1500 damage on the Baroth, which helps us in the long run. But it's crazy seeing the scale of both of these monsters, because the Baroth, obviously compared to the Hunters, it's huge. But compared to like the Diablos here, it's like it's so much bigger than the Baroth. And uh, yeah, we're not gonna fight you right now. We're just gonna go away. Hopefully you don't follow us, and we're gonna continue on our main quest to get the Baroth. I think it hit me with its butthole, on, on, like a butthole attack. Again, I aim for the head. Makes you wonder if there's actually if I can hold it for as long as I want, and if I do, does it do more damage? I don't know. I, don't, I actually didn't try it out. Oh, I got an upswing there that knocked it back, but I think uh, I think honestly that was Dan's attack. It looked like. sinkhole. I don't know what it was there, but I think it was trying to eat something. So I was just kind of messing around, and I'm like, hey, there's a there's a net here. What does this do? I don't know how it works. So the bear off, it went already to its lair. This is where, this is its uh, main zone. So you know it's weak, the tail's off right now. And this is where it's gonna make its last stand. And holy crap, it's really annoying fighting here in the mud. It slows you down. But I think there's a suit that you can wear in regards to being in water. 
that helps out. I didn't test it. I probably should have. But that's another, uh... That's another thing for another time. We got the other monster coming here. I actually have no idea what that's called. I should probably look it up. Yeah, if you remember in the last video, it swirled around the bear off, but uh, this time they're actually going to fight. Baroth charges, it runs it over. I overjumped that, trying to mount, but no matter. Staying right underneath its chin so I can do. Oh, like, hopefully get some headshot damage. And finally. Sweet, sweet revenge. Yeah, honestly, Dan, he didn't do as bad as he thought he said he did. We are pretty good, so we're gonna carve the shit out of this guy. Even though it doesn't really do anything <laughs> for the beta. Alright, so finally quest complete. In the next episode, we'll fight the last monster. Which you will see, I'll probably do like a little montage of it first with all the times we tried and then do it, uh, er, and end it with how we defeated it. So I got nine breaks, uh, Dan tracked it, he also rodeoed it. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. If y'all made it this far, thanks for watching, and as always, take care and take it 230 out. Alright y'all, let's get on everybody. Take, oops, keep smiling.